pit bull attacks his new owner in North Idaho just 24 hours after the man adopted the dog from Kootenai Humane Society. The man should be okay, but he lost nearly two pints of blood. KXY Force McKay Allen live in Coeur d'Alene tonight. McKay, after the attack, the dog got away and now he's missing? That's exactly right. He's still on the loose. After the attack, the victim called 911. Police came. They tried to tase the dog, but he got away. And the thing that makes him so mad is he says the Kootenai Humane Society told him that the dog could potentially be a family dog. Now we have a warning. Some of the pictures in the story you're about to see could be disturbing. I think he wanted to kill me. Kip Legard adopted this pit bull, Mojo, on Friday. He says the Humane Society told him the dog was nice. The lady's like, oh, he's so sweet and so sweet. On Saturday, the dog nearly killed him. I was sitting right here in the rocker. From out of nowhere, he says, the dog lunged at him. All of a sudden, boom, the dog had my arm. It felt like someone had just put my arm in a hydraulic press. Legard's arm was bleeding and the dog attacked again. I was just in a sheer state of panic. Legard managed to free himself and run inside into the bathroom. Blood continued to spurt from an artery in his arm. I had blood everywhere in here. It was all over. And as I sat here, you know, the blood was about halfway up the sink here. It just filled the whole thing full. He called 911 and waited until the dog went downstairs before he bolted from his house into a waiting ambulance. And then the dog followed me down to the ambulance, and the paramedics were like, run, run, run. Now as his wounds heal, Legard still can't believe what happened, and he can't believe the Kootenai Humane Society let someone adopt that dog just 24 hours before it attacked. And I think they should do way more assessment on the animal's behavior before they adopt it out. The behavior assessment itself is about 15 pages long. Eric Hess is the behavioral specialist for the Kootenai Humane Society. He assessed Mojo. And how did Mojo do? He passed. Before any dog goes out, Hess analyzes the dog. How do they act when they're fed, when they're played with, walked? How do they react to children, to strangers? Mojo passed every test, every scenario Hess threw at him. If I wasn't confident adopting the dog out, the dog would have never passed his behavior assessment in the beginning. And no matter how much testing is done, you cannot predict Hess says what a dog will do in every situation. I don't know um, what would have caused it. Now, the Humane Society also says that Legard lied on his application to get the dog. He said he had no other dogs in the house. He, in fact, has two dogs in the house, and the Humane Society says that likely could have caused the attack. Reporting in Coeur d'Alene, McKay Allen, KXY4HD News.